colorful buildings across a downtown landscape. That seems to be Urban Works architecture's approach on a few standout buildings in Minneapolis. Why are architects choosing to go bold on the exterior of their designs? That's what we're here to find out. Hi, I'm Michelle Penoyer with Nietzscheha and I'm visiting Minneapolis to discover how Urban Works designs with color. Join me in learning more about the accomplished firm and the designers behind a few very colorful projects. Um, the type of architecture that we do is, uh, we do a whole variety of building types, but the core of our practice is mixed use and multifamily. And our mission is really to create architecture that supports the goals of our clients and doing so in a way that's uh, uh, contextual and supports the community. I think color is uh, something that is unusual in the built environment. So many buildings are kind of a background and I think nowadays more people are actually using um, color to separate their buildings from other buildings. Well, the impact of the color is really important uh, to the client most of the time because that it really expresses what the exterior of the building will convey to the public. So in mixed use, it can be really a vibrant uh, feeling. It can create something that's attractive and people are interested in and want to go in and see. We also see the technology changing on uh, quite a few exterior cladding materials. So it allows the, the color to be more flexible, more custom, and a wider range, and, and actually with better finishes. So we only see that technology getting better. When we are looking for an exterior cladding product, uh, we are looking for one that is durable, we're looking for one that maintains its uh, finish. We're want looking for a product that doesn't attract a lot of dirt, um, but also looking for something that is cost effective and meets our clients' needs. Some of them are looking for a bold statement and some of them are looking for a real subtle statement. So we have to balance all of those factors when selecting an exterior cladding product. So you definitely chose to go bold on the exterior of this building. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about why you made that choice and how it's being perceived by the public? Sure, well, this project is right on the border of Dinkytown, which has a lot of retail, very eclectic establishments. So we really wanted to give the building an identity and make it stand out uh, here on 4th Street. And you can see up there the Chateau is one of the other Riverton properties, cast in place concrete. The yellow gave it a nice contrast to that, and the library over here is also cast in place concrete. So, tried to make it as lively as we could. Yeah, I definitely would want to be a student at this building. <laughs> yeah, for the sure. Big yellow building on the corner. Can't miss it. Well, the role that color played in the Fourth Street project was uh, quite interesting, actually, because the building that we worked on was right next to an existing building that was a very brutal concrete structure, 18-story concrete structure and uh, the people we were working for also own that project and they wanted the new project to be the antithesis of that building. So they wanted something that was more light and more colorful, um, not so brutal. The initial concept that we came up with really depended a great deal on color and also we wanted the building to fit into the context. The context was Dinkytown um, and Dinkytown is a very eccentric Place. So here we are in the interior of the building, and the design just seems to flow so well from the outside in. What steps did you take to ensure that the design carried throughout the building? Sure, with the bold colors that we used on the outside of the building, we really wanted to carry that through to the inside, and part of the strategy was to draw people in with some bold, bright colors, a nice large entry sign. And also the stairs, we, we went and used some really bold colors on the stairs to try to encourage people to use them. So I'm loving seeing all the hustle and bustle here at the 4th Street Housing Cooperative. What types of amenities do you need to include in these facilities to attract students to live in the building? One of them is this uh, kitchenette that we've designed. Um, the students are also looking for an amenity space like the fitness room here, which oh, wow. is, you know, again, bright colored, you know, gives an active use to the street. Well, the Third North project, uh, color played an important role because um, Third North is actually in a warehouse district, and a lot of the warehouses, of course, have 
kind of a reddish brick. And so the idea was to kind of interpret that sort of warehouse look in a more modern way. And, and so we, had, we chose a variation of, of uh, different red colors and grays, and they're kind of different uh, model look that sort of uh, conveys or connection to, to brick. The 2700 University Project, we use color in, in a couple different ways. We, we wanted to make a, a bold statement at the entry of St. Paul, so this, the project is located right on the border between Minneapolis and St. Paul. And so we used the combination of some wood look siding and some, a, a white and a black um, Nietzschea product that actually uh, provide a really strong contrast to the adjacent building? Uh, we chose Nichiha Illumination because it's really a crisp project. It uh, resembles metal, it actually looks like metal from, you know, even up close it looks like metal. It has that kind of machine look, it has kind of a finish that's glossy almost, and there's just a whole infinite list of colors that you can use. The, it doesn't get dirty, like stucco, some buildings get dirty because stucco kind of collects dirt, but this is very clean and it has a real um, smooth finish, so there's no dirt collecting on it. It always looks nice, and the color is, is durable, so it, it, it seems like it, it's not going to fade. It, it re remains bright and true to the colors we chose. So. One of the reasons we did use the Nietzsche is that it's very easily installed, and most importantly, it, does, it meets the client's vision for the color and the bold and the, the statements that they want to make. Um, so it gives us a lot of flexibility and it meets uh, also the price point that they're looking forward to. So. Urban Works plans to use color in the future on all our projects because it's become such a dramatic part of an aesthetic. Um, it's, it relates to the context and most importantly, it really supports what the client's vision is. And so we're going to be using it in every way possible.